hi everybody um i just have a quick message to share um that i was reading about and like it blew my mind and it really had me thinking provoked some thoughts in my mind um i was reading exodus 14 and this is a part in the bible where um pharaoh's son dies and he's so bereaved to the point where he decides to let the israelites go and after they're gone he has a light bulb moment he's like oh my gosh what have i done these people need to come back and the bible says that he sent forth armies chariots and horses and i was like why would he send all these resources to go capture slaves and people that are unarmed it just really wasn't making sense and then i was as i was thinking this the holy spirit began to minister to me and he said no pharaoh realized the value of the israelites the value of slaves I said hmm then i also began to wonder if the devil saw me walking past maybe in the desert or something like that would he use all of his resources to come and get me part of his resources a quarter of his resources or would he be like ah it's just berries just a little bit i'll come back and get her later we need to use our resources for somebody else and it just had me thinking because the problem that we as christians have is that we think that when the devil is after you it's a bad thing but I've come to, if that was your mentality, I've come to change your entire mentality and just provoke you to think in another way. See, the Israelites were valuable to Pharaoh because of their labor. So whether it was their slave work, labor in the palaces, whether it was the building of pyramids, whether it was the guarding or whatever it is what it was doing, their labor was based on, their, the value was based on their labor. And if we take the same concept today and we place our value based on the work that we do for God and the lives that we live for God how valuable would we be because you see our value (laughs) sorry I'm really excited but you see our value as Christians is, is, is what causes or provokes the devil to come after us or not you see if the devil is coming after you it's actually a good thing because it means that you are actually valuable in the kingdom of god it means that you are furthering the kingdom of god in some form way or manner and there's something about you or something about the life that you're living that is provoking the devil to be like no something needs to be done to stop this girl or something needs to be done to stop this man but you see if the devil he doesn't even have time for you he's like no no i'll see you later You need to check your lifestyle. You need to check the way you're living. Because people are so ready to claim the title of Christian. But nobody is ready to put in the work. Nobody is ready to live their life in accordance to God's standard. Not our own standard. Or not based on our pastor's standard. But our God's standard. And I've come to challenge you. If the devil was to see you today walking through a desert. Would he actually come and get you? Does God have a reason to part the Red Sea for you? I leave you with that question. Um, thank you for listening. Please just share it, uh, post it, do whatever you need to do with it. But please change someone's life today and change someone's thinking and change someone's mentality. Because I'm just like, if the devil's after me and I'm doing God's work, why not? It means I'm valuable. Have an amazing day. Have an awesome night, wherever you may be. Be blessed.